Howdy do! How are you guys? Guess what? I'm in my room doing makeup, just talking to the camera. Listen, this is the best I have sounded in over a week. I was sick, okay you guys? I have been super sick. My little sister coughed on me, like coughed right in my face. <laughs> so I got sick. I had, um, my nose was like really runny and then my throat, like yesterday I sounded like a witch that was a chain smoker. It was pretty bad, my throat, ugh. The girl has been falling apart, <laughs> but I'm feeling much better. And I, I think I look a lot better too. Anyways, you guys, I just wanna talk to you guys really quick. I was on a TV show, or I still am, on a Korean TV show, a Korean talk show. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might not have known that. But yeah, I'm on a Korean TV show. And when I first got the call about it, I was like, I don't really like doing talk shows. I mean, I'm more of like a physical comedian. Like, I need to be out there, like, moving and... <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I'm, like, more physical. So just sitting down, like... Like, uh, that's kind of hard for me. So I was like, oh, I don't want to do it. But then my manager was like, let me tell you who the MCs are. I think you should do it. So she told me, and I was like, okay, let's do a little bit of negotiation, and then I'm down. So that's what we did, and then I ended up being on the show. The show is called Jigu and Laiba. There's no English title as far as I know. I guess if I had translated, I would translate it into Earthling Live. I don't know. Um, it's on Channel A. If you want to watch it, it's actually on YouTube. The first full episode is on YouTube, and the second episode is uploaded in parts, and you can watch it on YouTube. I will put a link for you guys in the, in the description. To be honest, I have not watched the show myself. I have not watched the whole thing. I've seen my parts. First episode part was okay. Second episode I thought was really good. My part, I really liked it, which is a miracle. Long story. The show is about uh, content creators, foreigner content creators. They have a theme every week, and then they go to their home country. They film something about that theme. Then they come back, report it to the MCs, and then every week, I guess there's like a winner. Whoever gets the most views is the winner. I was in America, I filmed my parts, some episodes in San Francisco and LA, so I did that. And uh, I came back and I showed that video. Okay, you guys wanna know the tea? Here's the tea. <laughs> we were filming this show, I did not know what the show was about. I did not know that there was a theme. I did not know that there was like a competition. I mean, it was not very clear to me. If I would have known that, I think I would have had a different take on the way that I presented my part, but I didn't know. I was with the producer and the producer told me kind of like, please do it this style, do it like this, do it like that. So I just was following directions. That's why it came out the way it did. If I would have known it was more based on like YouTube and stuff, I think I would have done it very, I think I would have done it differently. I, I wasn't really sure exactly what was going on. <laughs> so I don't know if that's my fault or we just kind of miscommunicated or I misunderstood. Either way, I think it came out fine. But like looking at the video, each person from their country had a video to show from our country. I wish mine looked a little, I wish, yeah. Cause we're all content creators. It wasn't really my style of editing. I would have edited it a little bit different, but you know. But it doesn't matter. Anywho, so yeah, that's what happened. And so we get to the studio. The filming process, let me just go to that. That was challenging. That was the most challenging thing I've had in Korea. Just because I was on location, it wasn't like I could go home every day. We had to be doing the show 24 seven. Almost like that. I'm kind of used to like, I'll see you tomorrow or something like that, but it was kind of like, all the time we were together, which was fine because we became friends and I really liked the producer, you know, she was really, really cool, but uh, wasn't a lot of like personal me time, which was also challenging. I was like, I need a breather. I need time to just breathe by myself. That's just how I am. That's just, the schedule was very rigorous and it was a big adjustment at first. At first it was like, just work, 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 work. And I was like, I can't do this. I need, I need that breakfast. Can I have breakfast? <laughs> so I had to get used to, you know, we had to like work things out, like find a good balance between the two of us because we have different working styles. We got along fine and it ended up working out okay. I spoke so much Korean. I think I didn't mention this, but I spoke so much Korean. I was just like, am I speaking Korean or English? Guess what? I lost it all. <laughs> I'm in Korea, but all my Korean, that Korean that was like super good, that was super fluent. It 
it is gone. I lost it because I stopped speaking Korean when I came back to Korea. Imagine that. Kind of hanging out with my foreigner friends. So I haven't really been speaking that much Korean. So my fluent Korean has gone. Yeet! It's gone. Um, <laughs> it'll come back, I'm sure. I, th I feel like I already mentioned that, so I'm not gonna go on about that. Let's just talk about the studio. I already mentioned this on Instagram as well. <laughs> I'm so active on Instagram! Um, <laughs> I decided to do my hair and my makeup on myself. So I have been practicing my makeup every single day for like a week. <laughs> Cause I have done a lot of Korean TV shows and they do my makeup for me and I'm usually pretty upset with it. Just because if you never have done my makeup, my face before, you probably don't know how to do it. You have to do it a couple times. And so just to get there, I have someone not much experience on dark faces and they say that they do. I know that they don't because where are the black girls on Korean TV, huh? Show me. Where are the black guys? I don't think Sam Ochini wears makeup. <laughs> so I know they don't have a lot of experience doing girl makeup because who are the other girls out there that are on TV? Like, you know, there's not that many. If there are any, I don't think so. I know that these makeup artists don't have experience doing women of color. I know that they don't. So the first day I did my makeup, they just, all they did for me was put on my lashes and they did an okay job at that. <laughs> they did an okay job at that and I feel like my first episode my makeup looks okay but the second episode my makeup looked so much better it's hard because the show we're on there's so many people on there there's so many cast members and so they don't have really I guess they don't have enough staff to, to take care of everybody so usually when you're on these talk shows in between break time someone comes and they powder you up and then they just like make sure your makeup looks okay but for this we don't have anybody to come and like check up on our makeup it's just like you're on your own so i think the first episode um i thought someone was gonna come and like put like powder at least or something none of that and i i just wasn't prepared but i did the best that i could and i don't exactly know like doing makeup it's different when you're just doing your makeup and then you're doing it for tv you know so yeah I, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how do i do my makeup to look good for TV. It's gonna be a process, but pretty much I know I'm gonna have to do my own makeup. I mean, even in Hollywood, a lot of people don't know how to do good makeup for women of color. And so, what do you expect in Korea? <laughs> what do you expect? The hair, um, they curled it for me, but everything else, yeah, I I'm working on it. It's one thing at a time, okay, you guys? That's hair and makeup. Oh, also, also, my outfit, I chose my own outfit. I dressed myself. I went there and they, well before they're like, okay, send us, um, send us your measurements. And I was like, why? I don't think you guys are gonna have my size. I can't even get my own bottoms in Korea, not really. And I know you guys don't have my shoe size. I know it, so what's the point? But they're like, no, send it to us. So I did and they're like, okay, we don't actually have your size. I don't told y'all, I know y'all don't have my size. <laughs> anyway, so. They're like, just bring uh, three outfits, and I brought like one outfit, because I was like, this is what I'm gonna wear, because this is what I wanna wear. This feels like me, yeah, I'm comfortable in this, and I just, I feel good wearing this. I get there, and then they're like, oh, well, we have another outfit for you, do you wanna try this? And it was the shirt, and I was like, if I wear that, it looks like I'm going on a job interview. Mm, I wanna be comfortable, I wanna feel young. It made me look really old, I was like, nah, I'm good, so. I said no thank you and I just wore what I wore and I'm really glad I wore what I wore because I thought it was really cute. So, there's that. I was in the hair chair and they were doing my, they were just like curling my hair and then Park Jun Hyung, you know him, the BAM! Adoshi, the guy, Adoshi, I call him Adoshi, the guy from G.O.D., he's one of the MCs. So they were doing my hair and he comes in and he's all like, put a little bit of like concealer right here. And they're like, oh, sit down in the makeup chair. And he's just like, makeup, not makeup on it. <laughs> makeup on it. I'm not doing makeup. And he's like, just put me, give me a little concealer and a little chapstick. Okay, thanks. And I, I said, hi, 안녕하세요. And I said, oh, YouTube is terrible. So like, I, I like watching your YouTube channel. And he's like, oh, 그래? 너 한국말 할줄 알아? And he's like, can you speak Korean? <laughs> and I was like, Nah, hi Jada. And he's like, oh, okay, that's what's up. And I was like, okay. So that was my first interaction with him. And I was like, oh, okay, he's a little like aggressive. So I was like, I don't know. And I met all the other um, foreigner guests, like a cast member, I don't know. And they're pretty cool. Everyone's like 
amazing at Korean, which is really cool. Yeah, so we went to the, stu the studio, and the studio was like really pretty, and so we sat down, and we didn't have a chance to meet the MCs or anything, they just kind of just came on the spot, and we got to meet them there, and so... Park Jun Young just was first. You guys know he's from LA, Long Beach, I think. So when we first started talking, he talks in English because I guess he's pretty, you know, he's more comfortable in English. So he's just talking to us in English. And the first time I was talking to him, I was like, this guy's wild. He just says all this crazy stuff. He's cool, but this dude, he's something else. So that was just my first impression of him. The other, uh, two of the other MCs came out and they were just like, hi, nice to meet you. And then, Ha Ha and Kim Jong Min. They came out and I was trying not to fangirl. I didn't fangirl, I held it in, but I was fangirling like crazy inside because I watch Mulan Dojan, I watch Ear by Ear. I'm a huge fan of Haha ha and Kim Jong Min because I learned so much about just Korean variety shows and all that stuff. I learned a lot through them, seriously. And I've always just thought they're hilarious and I really like. I think they're good entertainers and they're sitting right across from me. They're huge stars, like household names. And I'm on the same show with them. It was just very surreal. Um, but thankfully this time I think I was more prepared and I didn't freak out and I was calm and I could I wasn't nervous. For the first time ever I wasn't nervous. I just felt like okay, I'm supposed to be here. I said hi to them and oh my gosh. They are so handsome in real life. You know, when you see them on TV, you're like, oh they're cute, whatever. No, in real life, they're actually really, really handsome. I don't know what it is. They're very, very attractive. And Kim Jong-min, he's, he's really attractive in real life. And he just, he's really nice. He's, <laughs> I really, really liked him. So then we started the show and we, you know, did what we were supposed to do. And then during break time, people walked around a little bit and I was trying to get like blood. This is, I'm, this is the first episode. I'm trying to get blotting tissues. So like, I'm sweating. Where's, can anybody help me? Somebody help me. But nobody could help me. So I was like on my own and I was just like trying to like, fix my makeup, I didn't have a mirror, I didn't have my cell phone. It was a mess, basically. That kind of, that kind of stunk, but you know, I just tried to do my best to get that done. But then after the break, I was going back to my seat and I hear someone behind me go, Whitney, Whitney, Whitney. And I turned around, I thought it was like the writer or the producer, and I was like, what? And it was, ha ha. Ha ha was calling my name and I was like, Oh, I got I started getting really giggly for the first time. I was like, oh, uh, 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 uh. I was like, oh my gosh, he remembers my name. It was crazy. But then we did the show, and then a couple times during the show, we had to stop because of technical difficulties. And during that time, Park Jun Young was talking to us, especially me, because we're the only two from, we're the only two from America. Oh, what is going on? This. But he was just talking to me a lot, and he's really cool. So at first, I was like. This dude is wild, and I still think he's wild, but he had so many funny stories. He's like an open book. He, some problems that he has in Korea, and culture differences, that kind of stuff. And then he was telling us stories about when he was a kid. He was my favorite person to talk to. If there's any time where I'm just like talking to the people next to us, people are like, wait, 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 what, what, what happened? Like he's always trying to get in every conversation, like every English conversation, he was trying to get in it. So yeah, he was just really cool. So that was the first episode basically. Um, just a little interaction here and there. It was like six hours to film. It is a long day. So that was my first episode. And then the second episode, uh, they had already filmed an episode before me. So everyone was like really tired and I came in and I was like, hey guys. Second episode, I felt it was, it's, the thing is the show is really hard because there's so many people in one room and a lot of people talk over each other. So it was hard, um, especially for me, because I'm not that style to talk over someone else. If I have something to say, I'll like raise my hand, oh, this, you know, I'll say something, but I'm not the kind to just be like, blah, 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 blah. that's just not really me. And even when I tried, I felt like people just kept talking over me and I'm not gonna be that loud person on TV that's just, that's just not the character I wanna be. And I felt like even Kim Jong Min, he didn't get to say that much because people were like talking over him too. So it's just kind of a very hard situation to be in, but there's so many guests, 13 total. So it was kind of, yeah, it was hard. It was, it was tricky. So I feel like the first episode we had to really work out the kinks, like how to make this work. And the second episode, 
was better but for me i just was kind of like okay i don't i'm trying to like say what i'm supposed to say but this is not working <laughs> i just felt like i couldn't really give a lot of input in the second episode so the whole episode i was just kind of like okay but then when it got to my part where i showed my video um, about going to america and in this video i tried three different uh burgers in america and i saw the video before and i was like eh, it's okay the video's good the video's good um i didn't think it was that exciting so i was like what if they watch this and they think it's kind of not very interesting but i forgot um we went to try burgers in la and park Chung young Ajishi is from la so he was like super passionate he was going crazy and it was hilarious so the whole episode i was like oh i don't feel like i have much input for this episode but then when my part came out i thought it was really really great and i'll put the i actually have the link so you guys can watch i'll put in a link in the description and it's, there's no english subs but i think you can get the feeling um but he was like on fire he was crazy and i'm actually i'm just really grateful to him because he made my part interesting and without him i don't think it would have been interesting at all so he like definitely saved me <laughs> so that's i'm grateful for that so the second episode because of that like that was fun i really enjoyed that and then um during break time again then he came over i just came over to me and he's like whitney i like your shoes your shoes are cool your shoes are dope by the way, if you saw my outfit, I was wearing this like, cute little dress, but then I was wearing Vans shoes because I was like, I'm being comfortable and nobody's gonna see my shoes anyway. So I was just wearing them, he's like, yeah, those are dope, you know, skater boy shoes, eh? And he was just like, <laughs> he was just talking about skating. He's like, yeah, when I was, when I was in college, I had a hard time going to classes because every day when I was driving to school, I had to drive by the beach and I just wanted to surf, man. And he was just like telling me this goofy stuff. He's telling us about breakdancing and I'm like, this dude is just something else. So he made it really fun. And then Haha -ha and Kim Jong Min was talking to me a little bit, but not like that. They were just like, "Do you like Korea?" I don't know. They're I forget what they said, but they like made little small talk with me, which is really nice because it's like I look up to you guys, and I ha I didn't have a chance to say that, but I was like, "I look up to you guys so much, you guys have no idea." Oh, I the next episode I actually might not be able to film it with them, so that might have been my last episode, which sucks because I didn't get a picture with everyone, but. Oh well. So they were like, oh yeah, this might be your last episode. And I was like, yeah. And so um, they just asked me like, oh, what, what are you gonna do next? And I was just telling them my plans. And then they started asking me all these questions. Oh, so you, you're a YouTuber? Like how long have you done YouTube? And what did you do before you do? Oh, what are you gonna do next? And I just had a chance to like open up and share. And then they were all listening to me. And I was like, oh my gosh, haha, ha, Kim Jong Min know about my personal life. That's so cool. So yeah, that was, that was really cool. I, I felt like afterwards I was screaming inside. I was like, I like I got to tell them something about myself. Maybe they'll remember it. And maybe next time there's a show, they'll remember me or something, you know? Doing the show honestly was very, very difficult. When you're dealing with that many people and so many writers and so many producers involved, it's confusing things change all the time so it was difficult for me a lot of miscommunication things you just don't know you're like oh we're doing that oh okay so for me it was very difficult but because i got to share about myself and my dreams to two of my role models that was like all worth it honestly i was like okay i don't care that well i still care that like some things are very hard but it was worth it to be able to share that and get to meet these people so so then at the end of the show when i was leaving park chun young came and found me he's like hey i just want to say i'm not i might not be here next time so i don't know if i'm gonna see you again at least for the show but it was nice work with you and he like dabbed me up and it was like i was really i felt really happy that he came over to like say bye to me I, like he could have just bounced but i was like Oh, thanks. It was really nice meeting you. I really had a good time. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I hope I get to work with him again because he is a wild card. Like, he is just, he's something else. And I, I really enjoyed working with him. He talks a lot, but it was fun. I, had, I was trying to catch the bus, so I was, it was like the last bus. It was like midnight. It was the last bus, so I was trying to catch the bus. And I was like running out. And I was trying, to, and I got in the elevator. And I was like the first person in the elevator. So I was like, got in the elevator. I pressed the button. And then I just like looking at my phone to check on the bus was coming and then people came in but i'm like still looking at my phone and then i hear someone goes whitney whitney and i look up and it was hot ah, i keep doing it ah! <coughs> i shouldn't i shouldn't scream like that danny right next to me and i look up and i was like oh, oh. i was just like ah! and then 
they're like, oh, you're going home? And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was, I don't remember what I said, but, oh, then they said, oh, you're going to America soon. And I said, yeah, I'm going. And I was, I'm going to be doing this, this. And they're like, oh, that's so cool. And they're like, good luck. And I was like, thank you so much. Uh, today was so much fun. And they're like, yeah, it was really fun. And I was like, okay, bye. And then I left and I got off the elevator and I was like, I cannot believe that just happened. I didn't film girl, but I was smiling a lot, but. This is cool. Being in an elevator that close to them was absolutely insane. Jeez, they are handsome. You wouldn't think it because they're so goofy, you know, they're comedians, but in real life, they're seriously really handsome. And I'm like, this is celebrity power. This is like the power of a celebrity. You only need power. <laughs> so hopefully something comes out of it as far as like doing a different TV show down the road. I don't know. Hey, a girl can dream, can't she? <laughs> that was pretty much it. That was my experience. Oh, it's not over. I think there's one more. I'm supposed to be on one more episode, but I'm not exactly sure when or how that's going to work out. Um, I could have vlogged there, but when I was there, I was like, I'm trying to get my makeup right. I'm trying to get make sure I look okay. So I had a lot on my mind. Korean talk shows, like I said, it is tough. I don't know if this really fits what I want to do. I'm not sure it's the best match for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is what it is. Thank you guys. I, I, I saw so many nice words of encouragement, so many supportive messages. So thank you guys for uh, being nice. <laughs> Thank you for being nice. And uh, yeah, that's it. I uh, will be back on YouTube soon. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.